Hello and welcome to the weather forecast for the rest of the year. The Met Office 10 day trend that will take us into the start of 2018. And for the next week or so, the weather's going to keep us on our toes for sure. Some very lively conditions with bouts of wet and windy weather set to sweep across the UK. And yes, some snow is possible in places, especially so on Friday. Why so unsettled? Well, let's take a look high up in the atmosphere at the jet stream, that fast moving ribbon of air six or seven miles up that tends to dictate our weather patterns. It's a pretty lively jet stream through the rest of 2017 and it's always wriggling close by to the UK and it stays that way and if anything looks like getting even more active as we go into the start of 2018. So that's the jet stream. What does that mean low down at the surface? Well, let's take a look at the same sequence of days with the pressure pattern. And you can see that low pressure will be dominating. One low swings in for Friday, another one for Saturday, and that's followed hot on the heels by another set of weather fronts for Sunday. Weather fronts bringing cloud and rain, and at times the isobars squeezing together, meaning it's going to be pretty blustery. And low pressure continuing to dominate on Monday, New Year's Day. So there'll be, as I said, lots going on over the next few days. Actually, Thursday looks like being a decent day if you're after some winter sunshine. It'll be chilly with a few showers in the northwest, some snow showers in northern Scotland, a bit more cloud spinning into the southwest. The breeze will be easing through the day, but it's going to feel cold, two to four degrees generally. And it looks like Thursday night may well be the coldest night of 2017. But then, behind me, we will start to see a chain change. Bands of cloud and wet weather starting to push in. Initially a weak weather front is followed by another more active weather front that turns into an area of low pressure that will bring some wet and particularly windy weather across the south. That's where the isobars are closest together. But perhaps more importantly, as the wet weather arrives and hits the cold air across us through Thursday night and Friday morning, we may well see some snowfall. Parts of North Wales, particularly the North Midlands, Northern England and Southern Scotland, the central area, the area most susceptible to snow, certainly over the hills, but even to lower levels. It's an area we'll be keeping a very close eye and could cause some problems. Further south, well, it'll be wet weather, a band of rain sweeping through on some strong and gusty winds. Low pressure will remain in charge through the weekend as well. One system clears away, but remember that sequence I showed you earlier. Another one follows on behind for Saturday. Again, the isobars pinching together. It'll get quite blustery and then more weather fronts arrive for Saturday night and Sunday. So the weekend, it looks like being predominantly cloudy and uh, a pretty wet affair. Could be a little bit more snow in places too where the air stays cold enough. But actually across the south, well, the air is going to be warming up. Some really quite mild air across the south this weekend as those weather fronts also not just bring the cloud and the rain, but also bring this warmer air up from the south. The yellow colours there through Saturday, Saturday night and into Sunday. Now, Sunday is New Year's Eve. And of course, many people will be heading out on Sunday night. But by the time we get to Sunday night, actually, it looks like this cold front may well swing through and introduce some slightly cooler conditions. So it'll turn a bit chillier again for the celebrations, New Year's Eve. It'll be a breezy New Year's Eve, it looks like, and uh, be prepared for some showers around as well. Showery and breezy is how we start 2018 with low pressure still in control for New Year's Day. There's a little bump in the isobars just to the west of the UK, a brief ridge of high pressure, but basically the early part of 2018 will continue to be dominated by low pressure systems and an active jet stream. So the weather looks like staying very changeable through the first week of 2018. Further bouts of wet and windy weather with any drier periods looking uh, fairly brief. Day-to-day -day changes are always likely and stay up to date with the weather wherever you are by downloading the Met Office app, uh, staying tuned to our website and keeping across our output through social media.